Hey, what's up? Welcome to part two of this uh, all new three part training series on how to uh, how to really explode your traffic and your lead generation uh, with your online marketing, uh, specifically using Facebook. And this is part two of this series. Part one um, is uh, basically how I generated 391 leads in 14 days. So this is part two of that series. And it's very important, you, you, you don't want to start on part two, okay? So if you really want to get the full value and the full benefit of, of this, you got you to gotta start with part one. So if you're watching this for the first time, go and watch part one, then come back and watch part two. I will make the links to part one uh, very much available you know, in the, in the video description and, and on the blog. Um, so just, just very important, check out part one first. Uh, but uh, now we're in part two, so we're going we're gonna to really start to go into uh, um, you know, some ad creative stuff, which is, a, which is a very important component of the process. But this is exactly, um, you know, this is exactly how I generated 391 leads uh, for my business in just 14 days. And uh, Facebook's really done some cool things that have made it made it very uh, really simple and easy to to do you know some re some really cool things uh, with getting traffic and leads for your business. So let's uh, let's dive right in. First, I got a, a little PowerPoint. I got a, I got a few slides I want to share with you. Um, okay, so components of an effective Facebook ad. You want you want your ad to be uh, you are you you have to get. Uh, an attention getting image and we're going to go uh, kind of deeper into the image uh, later on in the video um, so so stick with us we're going to do some cool stuff with images and then uh, you want to have a relevant headline who does the hell uh, who does the headline have to be relevant to it has to be relevant to your audience um, so we'll get into a little bit more of that and then when I show you some examples of some different headlines, and then you want your, uh, it, and then uh, another component is you want it to be, um, you want the text to be compelling and engaging. So this is how you create an, an, a, a Facebook ad creative that wins, you know, one that, that gets people to, to click, it gets them engaged, it gets, it gets their attention, it gets them engaged, it gets them curious enough to take the action that you want them to take. Um, so you you want your ad, you want your Facebook ad to be attention getting, you want it to be relevant, you want it to be compelling and curious, just like we just talked about. You, I mean, we, we talked about that in the last slide, attention getting relevant to your audience, compelling and curious enough for them to take the next step, and you want it to be congruent. Now, this is an important part, and I see marketers screw this part up all the time, um, is that their their ad is not congruent. Like, you want, you want the ad... To be congruent with what they're going to get when they take the action, you know, you want your ad to be, um, you know, you want a, a similar headline to the headline that they're going to see when they visit your lead capture page. And again, we can talk a little bit more about that in in, in just a minute. Um, here's some Facebook ad type options. Okay, so. Um, there's one that I kind of go to that, that that I like to use, but I know that you know some people out there don't you know they they're not ready for this yet. They they haven't they haven't gotten to this point yet. So I wanted to give you some some other options about some different ad types that you could create. Number one is about the thing, whatever the thing is that you're promoting. That you know whether it's a a free video or a free report. Or you know a lot of times it's gonna be it's gonna be those two things. It's gonna be a free video about Da, da 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 or a free report that reveals X Y Z, right? Uh, number two about the story. Um, what story? Uh, oftentimes it's your story. You know, whatever whatever your story is. Again, we'll get into that uh, in just a minute when we get into uh, the examples. And then number three um, about the lifestyle. So let's get right into that. Starting with the thing. So. Here, here's if you're gonna promote the thing, you know what? I, like, like we said, whatever the thing is, free video, free report. That you want the image to be maybe like a screenshot of the video. That could be an example of the image, um, a, an image of you know of the thing, right? Whatever, whatever your thing is, you know, maybe a screenshot of the video, um, maybe it, maybe a, a an image of the free report, um, you know, with with an arrow going to it. Maybe even an image of you. Um, and you're pointing to the free report, 
right? We are p pointing to an image of the free report. And uh, you know, stick with me in the, just a minute in this video. I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you um, some cool ways that you can do that using using some free resources. Um, and then the headline. So I just use this headline, um, you know, just as an example of of. Uh, uh, if you're targeting an MLM audience, okay, th this would be an example if you're targeting an MLM audience. If you're ta targeting more of an affiliate marketer audience, then it would be, you know, it, struggling in home business, still struggling in home business, question mark. That might be a little bit more of a broad um, e example of what you could use because that would kind of encapsulate, you know, network marketing, MLM, affiliate marketing, direct sales, you know, kind of encapsulate all these things. And then, but but be careful about how broad you go, uh, because like we said a minute ago, we want the ad to be, we want the headline to be relevant to our audience. So this would be a relevant headline to an ML to a struggling MLM audience, right? Um, another, uh, if you want to get even more, um, you know, more relevant than that then you know maybe you could target a specific network marketing company let's say you're targeting um, you know let's let's just say you're targeting uh, amway right um, so you would say still struggling in amway question mark and then that way the ad becomes more relevant to them you might even put a little little amp image of of amway i mean i'm i don't want i don't want to you know tell tell you anything that's going to get you in trouble here so let's just kind of leave it at that uh, but uh, but 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 you get the picture you want to you want it to be relevant to your audience and then the text and now this is this is just the, an example of the text that 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 I use and I use it because it's re, it's congruent like we just said you have to be congruent this is the text that I use because it's congruent with what they're going to get when they go to the website so I'm actually let me just let me just go here real quick so this is the this is the uh, if you watched part one, which I told you if you if you didn't watch part one, go back and watch part one. Um, but in part one of this of this uh, three part series, I showed you uh, this uh, this this ad, which is you know this this capture page, which is done you know done very well for me and converted very high for me. Um, but um, this is the the caption: How you can cash in the mobile revolution and get to seven five three two per month with less than one hundred customers. So I want the ad to be congruent, right? I want the ad to be congruent with that because that's what they're getting on the other side. So whatever whatever they're going to get to once they get to your capture page, you know, if you're promote if you're on my mo you know mobile marketing team, then you know this would be similar to what you would do if you're promoting something else, then it would be congruent with whatever they're going to get when they get to that other page. So for our example, we're doing free video reveals how you can cash in on the mobile revolution and get to 753 through per month fast. Okay, because it's it's a little bit shorter of a headline because Facebook doesn't allow, you know, you know, the, you're you're limited on the text that you can that you can put into um, into the ad. So number two, this is about the story. So this is kind of my go-to. Um, it, it, but it, it's my go-to because I have, I have, I'm a professional marketer. You know, I have, uh, I have professional images of me. I have, I've got images that I've, you know, that I've, that I've taken over the years that, you know, that I've, that I've used in a lot of my ads and, you know, it's, it's, it's worked well. If you don't have, you know, if you don't have a lot of pictures of, you know, of, 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 of you, um, then, you know, then you're, you're probably not, this might not be the way that you want to go. This might not be the option for you. And that's precisely why I gave you these options. And I know that some people, you know, they have a little bit of problems, um, you know, with self promotion and putting pictures of themselves out there. But I just gotta, I just gotta tell you real quick that, uh, you're going to want to get over that quickly if you want to be successful here, because this is very much a relationship business whether you're doing it, you know, online network marketing, whatever, offline or online affiliate marketing, it doesn't matter. It's a relationship business. People do business with people, not with websites. So, so this this can be a very powerful and very effective. That's why it's my go-to. Um, you know, but if you're not quite there yet, then use one of the other options. Okay. So, um, so the image you want the image to be a personal image of you, possibly with a caption. And again, we're going to get into that in just a minute. Uh, headline. We can keep keep the headline the same. Okay. Just for just for simplicity's sake, let's just say we're targeting an MLM audience. Still struggling in MLM, that's the headline. Text, 
And then this, this is the format of the text, okay? So the format of the text goes like this. I used to be like you, then I did this, now I have this, okay? I used to be like you, then I did this, now I have this. So the headline, still struggling in MLM? So was I. You see how it's a, it's a, it, you see how this, this works when it's a picture of you. When it's an image of you, it becomes more personal. It becomes more of your story. So, I, so was I. You struggling in MLM? So was I until I discovered this blueprint for 7532 per month with mobile marketing. So that would be the example of the, I used to be like you, then I did this, now I have this. This is the, this is the story. Now this works extremely, extremely well. Um, you know, but, but you want to be, you know, you, you've got to have those, those kind of components in place. You got to have some good, um, you know, professional images, possibly some lifestyle images of you. And then the same with the, the lifestyle, pretty much the same. You can do, you could do this, you know, with, with a lifestyle image, or you could do it with a, with a lifestyle image of like, like a beach or something that portrays lifestyle, something that portrays leisure, something that portrays travel, right? Something that portrays living the dream is really what it, what it comes down to, Liv living the dream. So let's get into some of, the, some of the image stuff. Well, if you wanted to go to uh, lifestyle, if you wanted to get images related to lifestyle, well, the best thing to do would be go to Google Images and then just put in keywords like lifestyle, right? So you can get, so something like this could be cool, right? Um, just peace, serenity, family, right? All the, all the things that people want, uh, you know, like we said, something that encapsulates living the dream. Well, something like this would be living the dream for a lot of people, right? Just more, more leisure, less stress. Um, lifestyle, we could also do travel, right? Or we could just do we could do luxury. Get some some uh, luxury images going. Uh, we could also do um, something like beaches, and we could just peruse images of beaches to you to use in our in our lifestyle ads. Okay. So people promote promote lifestyle. You got you got to promote lifestyle. Even even if you're not quite you know living lifestyle yet, you got to. You know, you really got to promote the dream if you want to, you know, do well in the, you know, work from home, make money online space, right? Okay. So, so now that we have now now that we have a lifestyle image, and I've gone gone ahead and just uh, used this uh, this lifestyle image right here. Um, what's something that we could do to kind of make it make it stand out a little bit? Well, we could. <clears throat> one thing that we could do is we could add um, a border. So I could put a little border on here, and then maybe change the color, maybe make it green. Okay, maybe maybe do blue. Kind of blends with the blue that's already in there. Maybe red. Okay, so that's one thing that we could do. We could put we could put an, a a headline or a a border on there, and discard. Whoa! Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know how that happened. But I'm gonna cancel that. Okay, so now the 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 sim a simple thing that we could do right here is just put in text. Okay, so okay now this is PicMonkey.com, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com. I use this uh, for uh, editing images, and it's free. You can, there there is an upgraded version that you can use, but I I just use the free version, and. Um, it's really cool, you know, some of the things that you can do to kind of spruce up uh, images. So all I did was I just took a Google Images, uh, uh, dragged it into uh, the editor section of PicMonkey.com, and then uh, one of the simple things that I could there's lots of th ways that I could touch this up and you know put a cool border on it, give it some some other effects. Um, if if it was a picture of me, I could put a speech bubble on there. Um, so I could put a little little uh, little bubble image that's kind of like a speech bubble, and then I could put my text in there. But for this, we're just going to use something like 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 this. So I'll just say add text, and 
I'll just say since we're talking, we're still using the same example of my my mobile marketing um, deal. Uh, are you capitalizing on this global mega trend yet? Okay, so I'm just going to center this. Probably, I might consider making it a different. Um, color, but I do like uh, maybe white would actually go good against this blue. Maybe make this white. That looks pretty good, right? So one thing with Facebook with images using on Facebook, you've got to make sure that the the text is less than twenty percent of the of the overall image. So you can't have everything text, otherwise your ad will get disapproved. So I could so I know that this is you know what we've got going on right here. It's it's less than 20% text. You know, the, the overall image is less than 20% text. So this would be something simple that I could do. It just makes the picture a little bit more engaging, a little bit more, you know, compelling and curious. And then another thing that you really got to take into consideration here is what, what is your value proposition? Okay, because we're talking, we're getting into ad creative now. Now you definitely want, you know, like we talked about in part one, I mean, you want your and what we talked about just a minute ago, I mean, you want your, your, your ad creative to be congruent with what they're going to get when they click. So for me, this is what they're going to get when they click. Um, but, uh, but, but, but you've really got to, you know, you've really got to do, do a little searching here and think about what is, what is your value proposition of the thing that you're promoting. So for me, a big part of the value proposition is the fact that, that you're, that, that we are capitalizing on the mobile trend. The we are we are capitalizing on the mobile marketing trend when it is just heating up in 2014. That is a major part of my value proposition that I am offering with my deal, <laughs> right? So if you're promoting something else, if you're promoting a you know your other you, you know an, another marketing system or you're promoting, you know, your home business opportunity or maybe it's one of your own products. You've really got to you've really got to do some searching and find out what is my what's my value proposition. And that's how you can come up with questions like this. That's how you can come up with things like this. So so I so I've already got the 7532 per month stuff, right? I've already got this in there. So I don't need to do that again. But but so that's why I I want to make this a little bit different and a little compelling. Because it's just gonna, it's just gonna bring them in a little bit more. It's gonna engage them a little bit more if they're interested in capitalizing on a massive global marketing trend. <laughs> you know, if they're not interested in doing that, then it's not gonna be relevant to them. And that's okay too. Okay, but um, you know, that's that's uh, that's 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 basically you know all we're gonna do in terms of the the image. We talked about you know going into Google Images to get some lifestyle pics. Um, I, I could have used a picture of myself in here, um, you know, if I was doing the, you know, the kind of my story ad, right? Um, or I could have used, you know, I could have used a picture of myself. I could have put put this, are you capitalizing on this global megatrend? I could have put that in a little speech bubble. It wouldn't really make sense to have it in a speech bubble in this picture because there's nobody talking. There's nobody, there's no person in the picture. Um, but, but that's, you know, that's basically it. So then I would just, I would save that image. And then I would go over over to Facebook, and here's where I would you know put in you know the the you know put put in put in the different images. So so here's where we are now. This you know again, like we said, this is part two of the of the three part series. So really important that you watch part one because we talked about using this website conversion option. Use, uh, talked about using the the thank you page and creating this pixel. So we're not going to go into any of that. We're just we're up to the you know the, the creative part. So it says you can up you can add up to six images. So I would say if your audience is less than a couple thousand people, and we're going to be doing some stuff on uh, audiences and creating your audience and creating different uh, different audiences to put your put these ads in front of. But that is not until the next video. That that's all going to happen in part three. But for part two, I just want to tell you if you're if you're um, 
if if you if your audience is less than two thousand people, I would I would probably say is probably a good a good marker there. If your audience is less than two thousand people for for you know this specific campaign or this specific ad set, then uh, you then you probably just want to use maybe one or two images. But if you're if you've got you know ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand plus people in your audience, which again we're gonna get into how to do all of that in in the next video, then um, then you're gonna want to put you know lots of different images. So so right here the images the image that it pulls is is just a little uh, the image that's that's congruent with the with the with um, the landing page right here, and then what I would do is I would add. I would upload more images. So I actually have right on my desktop, I've created a um, a file just called Facebook Ads, and this does this Facebook Images. So this does make it quite a bit easier for me to for me to do this. So I would put I'd put this one in there. I'd go back. I would put this one in there. I'd go back, and and I would do that until I have a handful of different images, right? I could I could use up, you know, four, five, six different images. Um, I like to use um, images like images of me on stage, um, image lifestyle images. So I've got a, one of me skiing right here. This is one of me reading reading a book with some palm trees in the background. The images are all going to be related to, they're going to be related to me. They're going to be related to lifestyle, the you know the the, the lifestyle you know that that I live as a successful entrepreneur. They're going to be related to um, authority, positioning me as a, an authority. So those would be the pictures of me speaking on stage. Now again, like like we said, if you don't have those pictures yet, if you don't have professional pictures of you or lifestyle pictures of you yet, then you know, you, you, you're going to want to use one of the different options that we talked about earlier. Um, but that's, you know, we're just going to let, you know, let Facebook do its thing. And we're going to come kind of come down here. Here's where you would put the headline, right? What do we, what do we use for headline? Struggling in MLM, right? So there's the headline. And then the text, so was I until I discovered this blueprint for 7532 per month with mo with mobile marketing all right so it fits that's the uh, we've got we've got our creative uh, we've got our uh, our creative uh, created here uh, and then the the call to action button. Uh, I like using learn more and what that's going to do is that's going to send them directly to this website. Okay? So now we've got we've got our we've got our images uh, uploading here. So what this is going to do, just to be clear, what this is going to do is this is going to create these five Im images, 1 2 3 4 5. These five images what what when when we go and create the rest of this ad Facebook is actually going to create five different versions of our ad, and it's going to split test these ads against each other with the, the, the same criteria that we just created. So one's going to be like this, one's going to look like this, one's going to look like this. They're all, they're all just different versions of the same ad, just ch uh, with, with different pictures. And the reason why this is important and the reason why this is so cool is because if you have a big audience, then Facebook is going to show certain people in the audience this picture, and then other people in the audience are going to get this picture, and then other people are going to get this picture, and I'm going to be able to tell where my leads are coming from based on which picture they clicked. So when I've done this in the past, this picture has done very well. Again, it's congruent. I'm reading a book called The Mobile Wave, so it's congruent with... You know, mobile, the mobile marketing stuff that I'm talking about in in the, the the text, but this picture has done really well. This picture has done really well and gotten a lot of clicks. Um, uh, but and then what I'll do is I'll I'll run the ad for a few days. I'll find out which picture is converting the best, 
and then I'll keep it and I'll get rid of all the other pictures. And that's, you know, we're going to get into into that and we're going to get into some targeting options. Um, you know, we're going we're going to do all this stuff in part 3. So, if you got some some, uh, some cool ideas, some cool stuff from this video, leave me a uh, a comment down below uh, the video and be sure to if you're watching this on YouTube subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get part three when part three comes out if you're checking this out on my blog uh, make sure to get on my email list there will be a link uh, on the blog post about how you can actually get right to this page and uh, that's uh, one of the fastest ways to get on my email list uh, because I will be sending an email out to all of my email list subscribers uh, with part three of this three-part series where we're going to do some cool stuff with audience creating and really you know, kind of tie a bow on this three-part series about how I generated 391 leads for my business using Facebook ads in 14 days. Another thing that you can do to get on my list is go to meetadamchandler.com. This is my main site, my blog meetadamchandler.com. Click here. Uh, this is my little form to get this case study about how I made $23,046 in just two months from only 49 customers. This will get you on my email list as well. That will ensure that you get uh, notified via email when part when I, I drop part three uh, of this exciting series on how to explode your traffic and your lead generation with online marketing. Hope you took a lot out of the video. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.